I'm Bobby Goodson, and this is uh, Goodson's All Terrain Swamp Lock. All these logs in the hot sun gotta clear them all out till there ain't none work that tiger got to death till the job's done and we do it all again. Through the sand beds and the muddy waters pushes old Ken work just a little bit harder. Got my 990 pulling. Making an honest dollar, it's good since all terrain. Good since all terrain. Good since all terrain. After torrential rains, almost losing equipment to flooding, and countless equipment breakdowns, Bobby and Justin decide to move the deck over to the Keith track. This track is still on the Corbett track, but just a little higher elevation. This huge, massive land is situated between Cape Fear and Black Rivers in the Curry community. With long hauls to Georgetown still being an issue, and two of the closest being Turnbull and Parker Bark, a small mill in Lumberton has just opened up that actually specializes in railroad cross ties. We really don't have any close close hauls, but uh, a, a place just popped up in Lumberton not too long ago, and we hauled the gum logs to them, and that's really been a, a relief for us because it, it's one of the closest meals to us now, and uh, it gives the trucks back to us pretty quick, and that helps us a lot, especially when the contract trucks wasn't here. But uh, but that meal is uh, it's been a, a lesson to us and anytime that we can get a, a extra market it's, it's a help because uh, you never know what's going to happen when the market fills up you always got an option you need options in this day. you know talking about truck drivers you know um, a lot of companies today micromanage their trucks you know we've got the camera system in our trucks and, and we know where they're at but I have never been one to stand there for anybody you know I take a man for his word, if he's going to give me a full day's work, I expect it, and I never micromanage the guys, because I don't know what time they get up in the morning. My guys get up early, early in the morning and carry loads of Georgetown, so if they go home at 5 o'clock, I'm not going to call them out on it, because you know, that man probably got a 12-hour day in already. So, and, you know, my guys will stop get eat, you know, get something to eat wherever they want to, and uh, I've never been one to do that, and I think that's one reason why we've had been able to keep good drivers as long as we've had. Uh, I, I'm not one to micromanage anybody. The next run that Daniel's planning on making is over to Georgetown. So he decides to stop, grab a bite to eat, and fuel up. YouTube, this is Daniel. Uh, it's been a while since we've been on here, but uh, we've been doing pretty good. Uh, last couple of weeks, we've hit a, probably about 100 loads. Uh, production has come up pretty decent. Trucks is doing good. Uh, just came back from Lumberton and uh, going back there to see if we can get another one. guys we're still at the keep track and I don't understand it but I know y'all heard me talk about trucks uh, for the last few years we've been needing trucks and I actually went out and bought new trucks and even with the six new trucks we had uh, we still had a hard time getting our wood moved 
and uh, the key track is it's a good track of timber we've been trying to get it for years and uh, I don't like beavers but this is one time they helped me out because the beavers has been in this area here stopping up everything and they're all the trees are stressing out they're dying and a lot of landowners have gotten worried because we, we nobody can find them they're just I don't know if there's so many of them or what the deal is so the landowners got fed up with it you know, all the timber dying so they just decided they're gonna cut it but we've been doing good and uh, I don't know exactly what's happened but uh, it seemed like uh, when the corona stuff hit and they started shutting down everything is we we have done really good I mean it's amazing um, I'm not sure what the deal is but we had so many contract trucks here at one time we had to get asked five of them to leave I never even seen them before but the last uh, this is the fourth week we've got over 100 loads consecutively four weeks straight and, uh, and we actually you know only got one tractor driver Durley and he's actually been out the last couple of days he's got a, his back's been hurting him because he's fixing to retire anyway but uh, the guys have done exceptionally well I mean you got one tractor of course we help out when I'm here I'll pull wood or make sure got a wood ahead he'll get off the tractor and stuff and help pull you know everybody's pitching in doing what they can but uh, but the last four weeks uh, we've, we've hit the 100 load mark we got a hundred and I think 102 106 Last week, I think we got 107, and this week we got 101. So, uh, the Lord's blessing us. And uh, it, it, it seems funny to me, though, that when everything else has gone to, gone to haywire, that, uh, that we've done good. I mean, don't wish bad on anybody, but uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad it has turned out good because uh, y'all heard me mention that I can't buy 60 the big fat tires anymore. And we uh, had to, I brought one of the tractors, the e tractor to the dual tires, and I'm fixing to do the, uh, the D tractor the same way. And I had to buy some tires, and I just wrote a check the other day for $40,000 for uh, the tires to put on the D tractor and a couple spares. I ain't got no spares in there, nothing. But uh, I guess the Lord know I needed it, and uh, of course it's getting time that I got to buy some undercarriage, and uh, they don't give that stuff away anymore. But uh, but I hope we can keep the, keep it going. Um, I don't know how long we'll do it, but we're going to keep working at it and keep as many loads as we can, and hopefully uh, the Lord will keep blessing. Hey fans, we're back out here at the Corbett deck. We uh been moving pretty good wood. The last three weeks we've been getting over 100 loads. Uh, all the drivers are picked up the standard. You know things are kind of low there at one time, but right now everybody's getting moving wood. So uh, Bob is happy, and we're happy. Keep keep everything going. All these few weeks, we make it more than 100, 104, 103, and 105. It's the wood moving too. So it's good this weekend. Bobby cooking every Friday when I make it more than 100. Mi hermano y yo hacemos buen equipo. Cargamos más de 100 trailers a la semana. Y tengo nueve meses manejando la loba. Guys, I guess y'all gonna to get to see some clips there of Humble Lumber Company, which has been an instrumental part of our job as long as I've been working with Corbett. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of this land we've been cutting in this area here for the last year has been Turnbull's land. But uh, they got some clips in here to show us how their mill works. And uh, it's interesting to me to see, you know, all I see is the raw end of it, then we carry the logs to them, and then they can actually make a usable product out of it. And, it's good to see stuff like that and uh, you know, to see where stuff comes from and how it's processed.
want to thank everyone at Turnbull Lumber for letting us see inside their operation. What you are witnessing right now is uh, a culmination of about 104 years of production that has gone through this Corbett mill. Um, they actually closed, I guess, six, eight months ago now. And it was a hard blow for us in the woods, uh, simply the fact that where we work at is, is normally fairly close to Wilmington in the Wilmington area. And that was always a good, quick haul for us. And uh, like now we're having to haul the gum logs as far away as 125 miles away. So we got Georgetown's 125 miles, the log mill's 125 miles away. You know, uh, it's good for the truck drivers. I mean, they're getting some long hauls, but it's killing us in the woods because the six new trucks we got, we need about six more to actually keep up. I mean, we just can't get consistent anymore because the trucks are gone so long. They can't get too low today. Uh, but I mean, Corbett's mill, was a, a mainstay in the community now for over 100 years and it's just a sad time it's, to see it go out but uh, you know they made baskets for years and years and then they made these uh, little veneer strips that went in between bricks but uh, apparently the market's dried up and uh, it's just come at a terrible time for us you know, the economy's doing supposedly doing good but you know it ain't good for everybody uh, because we're struggling the tariffs are hurting us a little bit We'll get through it. We'll keep on keeping on. I got my paper. That's what I'm standing on my floor. Dude, you realize you're up, Chris? I'm like, God. You know how many acres are left in the building? Well, the guys have got over 100 loads for the fourth consecutive week. And one thing about Bobby, he's all about rewarding his crew. So they decided to change things up a little bit. Justin has convinced Bethany to make her taco soup. And from what I understand, her taco soup is off the chain. We are on our way to Sam's to pick up the majority, hopefully I can get all of them, ingredients to make taco soup for the guys for getting 100 loads this week. Today, Justin's daughter, Emma, came along, and my goodness, now she can make some brownies. There is no doubt that the crew is going to appreciate that. Now, I don't know whether y'all know it or not, but Emma was the swamp baby 
born on the Swamp Bloggers TV show. Okay, so I've got the stuff to make taco soup for the guys. We've got our hamburger. Hopefully it's enough. Justin says I never put enough. We've got beans. Coffee for Lori at her special request. Can't let the boss lady run out of coffee. And tomato sauce and our seasonings. And there's a couple things they didn't have that we'll probably have to run over to Walmart and get. That's it. I have no earthly idea how women do it, but they can shop. Besides having bamboo shoots shoved up under my fingernails, Walmart and Sam's within the same hour. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. All right, so we got all of our ingredients for taco soup that Justin has requested I cook for the guys. So Emma's gonna make brownies for them. I'm gonna cook the soup and then Justin's gotta get it there and feed them. Meanwhile, back at the Keith track, the guys have did it again. They've hit a hundred loads. What we have here are two grown men trying to light a propane stove. But to be fair about things, the wind was blowing pretty bad. Now don't that look good, y'all? One thing about it, worse, it when you it see Antonio's grapple hit them logs, it's 12 sharp. And you can set your watch by that. Just in time! Now the reason Symmetrio's rear end is wet is because yeah. Bobby left the window down, down in the skidder well. yesterday. And last night we had a pretty hard rain. I'm sure Symmetrio appreciates that. Yeah. Up on the side right when I went by. Oh God, I had to Come on y'all, Bobby and the boys ready to eat. Conway the other day. Right Those boys ain't as hungry as I am, are you? Hey, <laughs> waiting on you. Well, I gotta say the blessing. You know y'all, as simple as it seems, there's nothing more important than prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, dear God, for being so good to us. Thank you, dear Lord, for the production we've got in the last four or five weeks, dear Lord. I thank that they prepared the food for us. Thank you for all you do for us. One thing I can say about Bobby and his crew, they work and they fellowship. And folks, that's a recipe for success. You know, as y'all can see, uh, we're having another meal today. And I've already mentioned a couple times over the past uh, four weeks how the guys have really been working hard and they and they been get hitting a hundred loads every week and you know all the guys get bonuses out of that and you know the more wood we haul the more money they make but uh, I feel like bringing you know, sit down having lunch with them it makes it more personable and uh, I think the guys enjoy it more it gives some camaraderie some team spirit here because normally when uh, we stop and eat, you know, a couple of the guys will eat over there, you know, Charlie will stay on his tractor and Justin and Smitro are back on their tractors. So we're, we're still apart from everybody, but, you know, I, I started it a long time ago and I told them if y'all get a hundred loads, we'll bring some food out here and we'll all sit down and eat together. And that's what we've done. And, it, uh, and I always like to start it out with a uh, bless the food, I mean, because God is the reason, you know, for our, for everything. And uh, I like to, uh, you know, just start it out with him. And uh, that's what it's all about anyway.
end of the video and again I want to thank y'all for watching it and if you liked it uh, please hit that like button uh, please send us your comments and uh, subscribe thank you for watching